Hello viewers, I am Sarat Singh Manes, here to present overview of paper titled Studying the Change History of Stack Overflow and GitHub Snippets, co-authored with Dr. Olga Besan. This slide shows the structure of this talk. We will cover motivation, list research questions, some important methodology and results. Coming to the motivation for this work, Stack Overflow is a very popular knowledge source among software developers and engineers, resulting in large use dependency between Stack Overflow and GitHub. We wanted to investigate if snippets on these platforms evolves or not. If they do, what is the relationship between them and what, how we can characterize such an evolution relationship. By snippet on GitHub, we mean a code chunk that has a link to Stack Overflow post. And GitHub for Stack Overflow snippet, it is a version of Stack Overflow post that include text or code blocks. Research questions are categorized into three classes. First is evolution, which includes the first two RQs that answers how much and how often the snippets on these platforms evolve. Second category is who derives the evolution on both platform. Third category is co-evolution. To what extent the snippets co-evolve on both platforms. As a precursor to this work, we use SO torrent and GS torrent datasets to conduct a preliminary study. We mapped both datasets using GitHub using the following derivations of foreign key. The SOTorrent links include uh, SOTorrent datasets includes link to the GitHub projects. Such a URL is listed here. From this URL, we can we can identify the user and the rep repository and the file path uh, within the project. But the problem with GH torrent is that it includes only the metadata of GitHub projects and the activities on those uh, GitHub projects. But we needed the revision history and the change at the code snippet level. So we did our own mining on these mapped GitHub projects. We used a, uh, our own built tool named Code Miner. For the working details of this uh, tool, please refer to the paper. Coming to the results, our first RQ is how much do snippets evolve on GitHub and SO? We found that on average, reused code snippets in GitHub undergo fewer revisions compared to their counterpart on Stack Overflow. 78.8% of the GitHub snippets remained unchanged. After answering how much, we wanted to know how often these snippets are revised. We found that time difference between the edits is more uniformly distributed for Stack Overflow snippets compared to the revision time for their reused snippet on GitHub. Also, Stack Overflow snippets undergo minor changes of two lines to the textual description of the answers, while the change size to GitHub's code snippet is 24 lines of the code on average. This distribution graph shows the revision time distribution for both types of snippets. Computing Guinea index on these uh, distribution shows that Guinea index for Stack Overflow snippets are more closer to one, hence they are more uniform. RQ number three, who is driver of the evolution? We found that the author of the original code snippets remain the leading contributor to this to its maintenance and evolution on both platforms. Coming to the final RQ, to what extent are reused code snippets co-evolve on the both platforms? While there is an overlap of revision timelines for snippets of both types, the reused code snippets and their corresponding SO post snippets evolve independent of one another. This graph shows overlapping revision timelines, with the blue portion showing a pair of snippets on Stack Overflow and GitHub evolving simultaneously. The right hand side figure shows the control and the simulated revision timelines to find if the co evolution is by chance or not. The results indicate that it is by chance, hence, the snippets are evolving independently. For more details about this technique, please refer to the paper. Here is the link to the pre-print uh, pre of the paper. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.